Hey girl, thanks so much for inviting me over. I am so depressed. Listen, no matter how much I cut my calories, I just keep gaining weight. Can you believe I've gained 50 pounds? I have not a clue why. And look at you, you've lost weight, but you look so glowy and well. Your shape, gosh, is awesome. What have you been eating? Starvation diet? I know, you've been doing keto. Oh no, nothing like that. You know, a lot of people think weight gain is only because of overeating, but there's more to it than that. Well, think about it like this. Our bodies are more complex than just calories in and calories out. One important factor that often gets overlooked is muscle mass. Muscles are metabolically active tissue, meaning they burn calories even when we're not actively working out. This concept is known as the basal metabolic rate or BMR. Having more muscle means a higher BMR and that leads to more calories burned naturally. Oh, I see. So it's not just about losing fat, but you've also got to build muscle. Yep. Gaining muscle doesn't just improve your appearance, it boosts your metabolism too. I look at it like this because I replace those extra pounds with muscle. So I not only look more toned, but my body also becomes more metabolically efficient at burning calories. Well, that makes sense, but how did you build the muscle? I don't wanna get hurt lifting all those weights. No, the only way you're gonna get hurt is by not having muscles. That's a really great way to fall down. But just regular strength training, some resistance exercises, that's the really crucial stuff. When you stress your muscles, they grow. And don't forget about your diet. Protein is essential for muscle growth. That's the only thing I did with diet. I made sure to get 30 grams each time I ate. It fills me up faster and protein is uh, helps you to burn more calories too. Wait, what? So being thin doesn't necessarily mean you're healthy. You're not healthy if you're really skinny. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's a common misconception. Under eating can lead to gaining weight just from fat. So what happens is you wind up skinny fat. That's a situation where you look thin, but you lose muscle tone. And that can have some serious health implications. Listen, being under muscle can come with its own set of health risks metabolic issues and weakened bone. It's important to shift the focus from just the number on the scale to think about your health as an overall concept and your well-being as something you're moving towards, not just being thin. Wow, so where can I get more information about optimizing my body's function? So there's this great account on YouTube called Longevity for Life by Stephanie Lewis. Go follow her. She's got every tip you need to make yourself as strong and healthy as you possibly can. She wants everybody to live to be 120. 120, that's awesome. I'm going to go subscribe, like, and follow to Stephanie Lewis.